guys, Catherine here from Catherine Pooler Designs. I have a little story. One day I was just hanging around Instagram and noticed there was a little DM in my inbox. It was my friend Simon Hurley and he sent me a little video clip saying, CP, new solar paints are coming and they're gonna work great with Catherine Pooler Ink Refills. So I said to him, go ahead and send them on. I wanna check this out and he was right. They are amazing with CP ink refills and let me show you why. Simon Hurley's solar paste come in six colors. And I say color, <laughs> the paste is actually white, but there's mica powder in there that is colored and that's what gives it its shimmer. So when you apply it to cardstock, it's gonna look white, tilted in the light, and that's where you see the beautiful color. It comes in beluga, which is a royal blue, royal flush is purple, golden hour is a gorgeous gold color, overheated is a rust orange, crocodile, crocodile tears is green, and cross my heart is a reddish color. So you're just gonna use a palette knife to scoop it out of the jar, apply it to cardstock. This is just a little experiment, so we're just gonna apply it just to see what it looks like. But you can cover your cardstock, let it dry, and then die cut with word dies or flower dies or different kinds of shapes dies to give some little oomph to your projects, and it's a lot of fun. You can also use these with stencils, and we'll look at that too. Uh, so applied it with the palette knife and then just rubbing some on with my finger and then just apply it to different parts of your project. Maybe uh, you have a die cut leaf and you just want to apply a little bit to the edge or the center of a flower or something like that. But look at this in the light. It looks very different on white and black cardstock. On black, you can really see that color shining through. And then on white, it gets a really subtle look. So drop a comment here on YouTube and let me know what kind of ideas are running through your mind on how to use this solar paste. Now here, let's try Cross Your Heart and Royal Flush. So Cross My Heart has that red tint to it. Royal Flush has the purple. We've carried this in the shop for a little while now. And I'll tell you, my friends, the Royal Flush has been the, just by a smidge, a little bit of the front runner in how many we've sold. You guys are really loving that purple and look at it on black, this black cardstock it's just really really beautiful i think i want to use this with word dies and just uh you know apply it to the cardstock and then let it dry and cut it out with your word dies i think it's going to be a great accent to any card making project so here it is on the white and black cardstock the royal flesh and cross my heart just tilted in the light to see that gorgeous shimmer and shine here comes my favorite part, mixing the solar paste with Catherine Pooler ink refills. Now your ink refills, the traditional use for them is to refill your ink pad. Catherine Pooler inks are on a foam pad. They transfer ink super easily to any surface, your stamp, your fingers, your hands, <laughs> your cardstock, uh, and they work beautifully. But they will get dry over time because the ink is used out of the pad and because the ink is transferred so easily, it is a good idea to have those ink refills on hand. But they are not just for refilling your ink pad. You can use them to color paste. And you saw I pulled in the color wheel there. We talk a lot in our videos about color theory and how to use this color wheel. It is a free download on our website. So in the link, in the description on YouTube here, I will include a link so you can go download that for free. But generally, colors across the color wheel from each other look beautiful on a card together, but you don't want to mix them because when you mix colors across from each other on the color wheel, it's generally going to turn brown. But that is the beautiful thing about this solar paste. When you mix, purple or red with green, it's not gonna turn brown. It's amazing. You will see that green color of the paste, and then when you tilt it in the light, you're gonna see the purple mica powder in the paste, and it's beautiful. This right here is my absolute favorite, the green with the royal flush, and that, it, it reminds me of Halloween, and I'm definitely gonna make a Halloween card using this paste right here. Lime Ricky mixed with Royal Flush. It's a huge home run, am I right? 
<laughs> it's just gorgeous. And then let that dry. And let's just look at it again. The Royal Flush and Lime Ricky. Leave me a comment. Let me know what color combinations are coming to mind for you. What, what combinations do you want to use? Maybe I'll uh, try some of them out in some of my live streams. Uh, and also let me know if you try it and what kind of results you get and what your favorite combinations are. Right now, my favorite is the Royal Flush and the Lime Ricky. Let's try a couple different ones though. This I think is overheated with Party Dress. Party Dress is our mid-tone or mid-shade red, so it's pink. And it's bright and it's beautiful, very vibrant color. And I'll just mix that up and then apply it to the white and the black cardstock. So that party dress ink color really looks beautiful in this paste. And then when you tilt it in the light, light you're gonna see that orange kind of rust color of the mica. It's gorgeous. So here it is wet and then we'll let it dry and see what it looks like dry. I really love how rich this color looks and how that pink just really just is so vibrant with this paste. Next up, let's try two colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So we're gonna do Samba Ink, which is a red. It is a um, red, red, but depending on what you put it with, it will lean ever so slightly coral or a little bit of a, you can get a little orange feel in it. And I thought mixing it with the overheated, which is an orange kind of rust undertone, would look really beautiful. And once I applied this to the cardstock, that mica with the samba is just giving such hot vibes. <laughs> so I think a fun summer card, tropical card, uh, this is going to be great for. So samba and overheated is a really great mix. Next up, let's try overheated and dress blues. So dress blues is a very deep, vibrant blue. It's a royal blue. And then overheated, of course, is that rust orange undertone. And generally, when you mix blue and orange together, blue and orange look fantastic together because they're across from the color wheel. They're complementary colors. But when you mix them, usually they're going to make brown. Uh, it's not gonna work too well. But with this mica based, it works beautifully. It's such a cool feature. Way to go, Simon. So check that out. The blue paste and then you tilt it in the light and you can really see that orange coming through. It's really stunning. And when you use this in your card making projects, oh, it's just going to be just outrageous. Just beautiful. So here it is dry. Very different look on black and white cardstock. Now let's try it with some stencils. So this is our circle burst stencil. I made some more of the dress blues and overheated. I made a mistake and took my palette knife that had some blue paste on it and tried to get some more out of the jar. Don't do that. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. I should have known better. Uh, but. You know, I got a little bit of blue in the jar, but I was able to scoop that out. So it really was not a problem. So I'm using the palette knife to fill in all the holes and then the scraper just to run across the entire stencil to smooth it out and make it all nice and fill in all those holes. And then when you pull it off, you got something gorgeous. So in some lights, this is looking purple to me. But I can see blue, I can see orange, a little, a little bit of a purple hue it's giving off. It's really beautiful. And then to finish this off, just pop it on a card base and then add a word die over the top. It could be really simple. Or you could do a circle die, a circle die cut, put it in the center, maybe do one of our little peeking pets on there, add a little sentiment, and you've got a really fun card. One last technique we're gonna try. This is our twisted sunburst stencil. I'm doing a little bit of temporary adhesive on the back to hold my stencil in place. And then I'm going to add color. So I have a large ink blending brush and I chose colors that are a triad. So it's 
pink, yellow, and blue. So then when the pink mixes with the yellow, it's gonna be orange in the middle, and then the yellow with the blue is green, and of course, pink with the blue is gonna be purple. So then you'll get the whole spectrum of the rainbow all the way around. So just use your ink blending brush, and I did about, I tried to do about a third of the card layer with each color. And since Catherine Puller dye inks are translucent, when they overlap, they will blend together and make a new color. So the It's a Girl and Tiara will blend together and make a beautiful orange. Fiesta Blue to finish off this beautiful rainbow. So we'll just blend that in the open space, overlapping a little bit over the Tiara and the It's a Girl, making a little bit of purple and a little bit of green. And now just a little peek at the reveal. You can see how gorgeous this rainbow stenciled image looks. Uh, but we're gonna add the stencil right back over the top and add some solar paste. So I think this is overheated, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna add it over the entire stenciled image. And then what is gonna happen is that the solar paste is wet. So when it touches the ink, since it's a water-based ink, the ink will be absorbed into the solar paste and it will color the solar paste. So where it's over pink, that white paste is gonna get a pink tinge to it. Where it's yellow, where it's blue, it's going to pull in the color of the ink that it's going over. So then you're gonna have the solar paste with a rainbow and then that orange mica shimmer in it. Seriously, how cool is that? So we're going to cover the whole stencil, use that scraper to uh, make sure everything is really nice and smooth. I got a lot of excess paste over that. And one thing to keep in mind is that since it's touching the ink and making it wet and sucking in some of that color, it does start to happen pretty quickly. It will intensify as you let it dry, but right away it is gonna tint the, tint the paste just a little. So then that excess paste you pull off is gonna be slightly tinted. So you don't wanna put that back into the jar. So I just used it to go over a white piece of cardstock and then once that's dry, I can use that for word dyes or standalone dyes or whatever I feel like adding to my project. Here it is dry and the color really has intensified and I can't wait to add this to a project. Again, you can go really simple, just add a word dye, put it on a card base and you're all set or layer it up and make something brilliant. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you have enjoyed all these great ways to use solar paste. You're inspired. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel and come on back and hang out with us. Don't forget to download your color wheel and check out all of our videos teaching you how to use it. Have a crafty day and we'll see you again real soon.